About a year ago, I bought a 24 foot enclosed trailer used from my buddy. I got a pretty good deal on it and it wasn't in the best shape, but it was pretty good. I always told myself that eventually I would build out the enclosed trailer and make it look nice and get cabinets and get proper flooring and really fix it up a bit. And today, we're gonna start that process. So before we get too deep in today's video, let me give you a quick sneak peek here. We have a full aluminum cabinet set that we ordered that will line the rear end of the trailer the whole entire width with cabinets cabinets and pull out shelves. We can keep tools in them, we can keep stuff organized, and I can get rid of this like trailer setup that I have here. We also are gonna start by laying down some vinyl rubber flooring on the inside of the trailer. Now, I did a lot of research on figuring out what type of flooring works best, and to my understanding from what I've read and what I personally decided I thought would work best for us is I got almost a uh, rubberized vinyl flooring that I measured out and I ordered, and it's meant for enclosed trailers, so it should be what we are looking for. It's a thin piece of rubber with some texture on top. This should be just wider than our trailer and just longer than our enclosed trailer. So Calvin and I are gonna be laying this down. We're construction workers today. We don't, we don't do cars, we're construction workers. We work on trailers now. So we're gonna be laying down this mat to try and give us a better base just because this plywood floor it can absorb stuff. I don't want water to sit in here or coolant to sit in here and it just get damaged over time. So I really want to get a flooring down. And as you can see here, at one point, this trailer had cabinets. You can actually see the aftermath here. I don't know why they're not here anymore, but we're gonna be reinstalling our own cabinets easy, today. Baby. Easy. Should be easy. Extra premium. Just got extra, extra premium. Dang, bro. So before we go ahead and lay down this mat and install it, we're gonna sweep it out, get all the junk out of here. The recommended way to install install this flooring is to actually use this double-sided industrial sticky tape. I have my doubts, but I'm gonna go ahead and trust what I read and trust the forums and trust the YouTube videos that I saw. So essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay this mat out once it's all clean, and we're gonna be laying down a perimeter of tape around the edges of our trailer with it fitting just right with a little bit of cutting that we're gonna do to get this to fit. It should lay down snug and it should never go anywhere. So we're gonna go ahead and trust that, but before we do this, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sweep the trailer. Just barely make it. Now, Calvin and I just have to cut this thing appropriately and get it to fit. I'm coming, buddy. Uh, it's gonna be very hard to film all this, so I'm gonna put you guys down until we get to our spot, and I'll pick up the camera. <laughs> So we've got it laid out for the most part. We have a little bit of a gap right here, but that's okay because our cabinets are gonna start from here, so all that's gonna be covered. But we have it laid out pretty well. We're gonna go ahead and make some relief cuts around the boxes first. Most of the wrinkles and stuff we're getting out, but as you can kind of see, there's like some like whoops, the whole entire thing. That will obviously over time air out, but hey, there you go. All you gotta do is butt it up. Oh, you even did it before I could even pull the camera out, Teej. That was a quick boy. That was a sharper knife than mine. Yeah, this was, it just like came through like butter. Trailer mods. Goodness, Teach. Done. It looks nice. I mean, look at it from this way. Like, it, oh yeah, it looks really nice. We're also we still, we still need to like cut out these. Yeah. So we'll do that like probably towards the end, but not bad. I think this is a really cool um, little fix, just to like keep it a little bit more secure, a little more protection. Before the yeah. wood floor with the paint kind of look. Well, it's just like chips and the dingy. Thing is, like, remember when we had. We like trailered home the Z one time and it was like leaking coolant. I like let it stay here overnight and then I came back the next day and saw it and there was just coolant everywhere and like the coolant was just sitting on the wood and the wood got like saturated and took forever to dry. It's like now we'll have like a like, water resistant. Yeah, water resistant. Yeah. water on it so I'm gonna soak the wood and all that stuff, so. Oh, perfect. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and use this tool to lay down all the tape, make sure that it's stuck to the floor because if it ain't, then this was all pointless. What's this? Look at all these good boys. I live stream on Twitch. So go follow me there, baby. So we're trying to work the wrinkles out as we lay down, but we think as it heats up and as it decides to settle over the next week or so, it should eventually all fade out. So all that's gonna take a little bit of time is going super, super slow, making it look nice. And we're gonna have to do that on the edges here, but I'm gonna go ahead and start peeling off the backing on the other side, and we'll lay down on the other side when we're ready for it. Ooh, if I keep doing it like this, ooh, let's see it. Ooh. We did a 
pretty good job. All the flooring is laid. It wasn't too hard to cut the edges. It just took a long time. And to be honest, I'm like pretty exhausted. I'm tired. But we're only halfway, <laughs> we're only halfway done. We're gonna clean all this stuff up, clean up our work area, and we're gonna lug in all of our cabinets. And with those cabinets, we're gonna start assembling and figuring out how to do that. What was awesome is that the overhead cabinets came pre-assembled. So all of that is gonna go up top. It looks like the boys kind of laid them down just to make sure they all fit. But believe it or not, they have what the instructions oh. say and uh, it, the hardware comes with it. You're actually, we're gonna be attaching these cabinets with self-tapping screws. I live my life trying to stay away from self-tapping screws, but I guess that's, what's, that's what we're gonna be using today. There's a ton of points of attachment and the sides of the walls are like half inch thick pieces of wood. And it looks like the previous person did the same thing. So it should be good. Oh yeah. I think we're going with the toolbox in the corner, Chief. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know. Do you want I kinda to like it? it. Later, dude. Later, dude. Watch them just all the squats. Do we do, do we want that there? Do we all oh. <laughs> I literally said that was gonna happen. Did you come over here to save it? We are losing sunlight, but it is time. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw this countertop on top. So believe it or not, this is actually installed with double-sided sticky tape. This is not that hard to believe. I, I assumed it would be bolted down, but we're not. We're gonna be using some double-sided sticky tape. She is already peeled and ready to go. Why would you touch it? Hopefully we don't install it crooked. Did you touch it with your dirty mitts? You just made it they're, not sticky. They're so dirty. You just made it not oh sticky, bro. Oh my God. You're fired. All right, good luck, here we go. Get the fire. Tablets, cabinets, and countertop officially installed. Now the real question is, when is it gonna fall apart? No, that's a bad name. But I've already started putting some stuff away. We have a track event in like a day, and we finish this upon all doubt of everyone else in the shop. How's it look? Standing back, it looks money. Does it look pretty good? It looks money. And the flooring. Oh! Can we do the flooring? Hey, let me let me just back up a yeah. little bit. Get so we you. Cl close up the cabinet. Ah! Oh, Tej, you looking official out here, Tej? Yeah. yeah. We're building, dog. Yeah. Taking us a long ass time. Kevin's gonna punch Yo, himself. Yo, Cal, look at the finish on the cabinet. Uh, oh, too bad you're not gonna care about it and send it on the cabinet. Oh, I can see my own lip in here. Now we need to do like under lights. Brush. And... This is a brush light. Oh, gotta... we're gonna go to Harbor Freight and do like completely get new tools for it. Hell yeah. I'm looking forward to that. That's gonna be sick. We need yeah. to get like rubber, like Maddie's and stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Should I do it? I mean, we're gonna use it. Oh, dude! Why the f did you do that? I almost just spilled this monster like everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, you know what? What if we record the clip over and we're just like, dude, this last time I was like this clean. And then you come over here and you're like, oh! Why? You eat a lot. You didn't even finish saying it. I have a towel. I got no towels over here, boys. And no, they're in here, dude. Oh, wait, wait. It's clean. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Oh, you left a ring. You left a ring. What's bad. wrong with you? Oh, no, that's not what that's for. I need to use that right now anyway. Give me one. Give me one. They're dry. They're. Oh no, they're not. Oh, awesome. Rip it. Rip it. Thank you. Oh my god. This is who I play with Call of Duty with. Dropping the ball. You call yourself a a yeah. biscuit shooter? Oh that's man, that was bad. Dude, idea. please. I'm gonna get a paper towel. Oh my god, Monka S. I can't even enjoy it for like two minutes. <laughs> Merry Crema, everybody. <laughs> it's now the next day. I uh, went to Harbor Freight and I decided to get every tool we could ever need for this enclosed shower so we don't have to like transfer tools like we used to do in the past. Calvin just joined me today. I just went and I got a gas run and got a whole bunch of tools. So, Calvin, why don't you no, open up? I can't. Merry Christmas. I can't. Merry Christmas. It's actually going to fall out. Oh, oh my God. You bought like the biggest sets, bro. Dude. Oh my god. What idiot spends $800 at Harbor Freight? This guy. Something about Harbor Freight too is they use the cheapest bags I've ever seen. Like the bags that I bought are already breaking so and busted. like, yeah, dude, they're like oh, dad. busting at the seams. So we're gonna be loading all the stuff in the enclosed shelter today as well as getting the car in here and all that fun stuff. But we're just gonna start laying this stuff in here. This is a luxury I've wanted for us for so long. And I can't believe we're here. It, this has been a, My goodness. it's been a long time. We're gonna start loading all this stuff in and we'll get back to you guys once we get it all in here. First, we can start cutting out these like drawer liners that I got. Remember we said we needed these? I saw them, I remembered. Uh, but I just got everything from like all your sockets to deep sockets, torque sockets, quarters, three eighths, half inch, drill, three eighths, impact, half inch impact, sledgehammer, rubber mallet, transfer pumps, everything we would need at the track. For the most part. Perfect. You're not gonna do, we're not gonna do a motor swap, but we're gonna do like any, anything in between we can do. Oh, oh. You can't record that. Still gonna have to figure out what's the best place to put everything. But the main thing we utilized is this tool chest. We have like an accessories drawer on the top. Then we'll go down to all the wrenches, sockets, stuff like that. Then we have all like the sockets, extensions, blah, blah, blah. Really unorganized, but we have all our screwdrivers, pliers, and then we have all like the impact stuff on the bottom. So super nice, really, really nice to have all this stuff in here. No more uh, half-assing around, so it feels good. Now we just gotta clean all of this stuff up, get the car out, make sure everything is good on that, and yeah, start putting everything together and get ready for the weekend. All right, last time, like I told you guys, we were having a breaking up issue up top with the new coils. We should be good, so I'm gonna go up, uh, do just a, a quick drive down the street, come up and come up and down and get into boost, make sure it's holding, and uh, if that's good, we should be good to go. We don't really have any, any time to do anything else, so hopefully, Hopefully we're good. I hate to report this, but in that last clip, I don't know how well you could see it, but the car is still really breaking up right when it gets in boost. Uh, I'm not sure why. I thought it was a coil pack issue. Uh, I was having the same issue on my other Jay-Z and this was exactly the fix. Made sense that we were getting a ignition breakup, but oh man, it sucks. I really thought like I was, I bet everything that was that this was gonna work and I got everything ready and of course it doesn't work. And of course my tuner who uh, I would send my logs to is actually at the event this weekend and we were actually gonna do some tuning out there while we were driving and just, oh, it sucks. Actually, this is probably him calling me back right now. It is. Hello? Hello? 